Um, and that would put a water, uh, life support, fuel source on the moon, uh, allowing for longer missions, uh, more people, more activity, and the starting of a, a space economy around the moon. Hi, I'm Rachel Gregory. Thanks for joining us for our first episode of 555. I'm really excited to be chatting with Zach Trolley, co-founder of Lunar Water Supply, an Alberta-based company committed to supplying water in space. Yes, space. Now, Zach, your company, Lunar Water Supply, is working on an incredible feat. Could you provide us the Coles notes of what it is your team is working towards? We are uh, going to extract, purify, store, and sell water on the moon. Right now, it's about $4,000 per liter of water to get it into space. Um, we believe we can get it down to $500. Um, big cost difference for um, doing it on the moon. That would put a water, uh, life support, fuel source on the moon, allowing for longer missions, uh, more people, more activity, and the starting of a, a space economy around the moon. Wow, that sounds incredible. Well, what would you say are the parallels that you see in Alberta's oil and gas industry um, and space exploration? So Alberta builds modular equipment to extract resources in a remote location. We do this for a resource that's used in manufacturing and fuel here on Earth. And that exact same skill set is needed for the space resource sector. And somebody is going to do it. Somebody is going to be building this hardware, and that somebody can be Alberta. You've mentioned before in articles that you believe it's time for Alberta to diversify its economy. So could you expand more on what you mean by that? I want Alberta to use the skills that we currently have in new markets. And a great example of that is geothermal energy. We have the hands-on knowledge to execute these large resource projects under serious constraints. And we do this day in, day out. If we apply these skills to this emerging market, there's huge growth potential. Some people say $2 billion per year by 2050, and that's just for water. In a perfect world, where would you like to see Alberta's talent, innovation, and technology in space exploration? I think internationally and domestically, Alberta could be front and center. I mean, it's hard. Let's not pretend it's an easy problem. It's a hard problem, but we've never let that stop us before. Many people are so fascinated with space, but it's definitely not every day that you encounter someone who is making it their career. So I have to ask you, Zach, why space? Space is full of unknowns and, and that's what excites me. And if you imagine the future, you know, water being used to grow crops on the moon to feed astronauts, that same tech can be used on remote areas in Canada to solve our food and security problems. Space to me represents the, those stretch goals, um, you know, a way to wipe the board clean and imagine what things could be. Awesome, Zach. I think I could probably ask you questions that we could go on for an hour and talk about this in so much more depth, but that's all we have time for today. So thank you so much for enlightening us to the incredible work that is being done to create new industry and resource extraction in space. You're making us Albertans very proud. So thank you so much for, jo for joining us, Zach. Well, thank you very much for having me.